dear ones. It's Alice. I am of the stars. And I have a story to tell you that kind of gives a notion about the nature of spells. And there are lots of spells. Lots of spells that have been binding humankind down over the many incarnations. And one that I discovered just, see, I was overhearing a clear conversation between two men, one a spiritual teacher and the other a student. And I, as I was listening, um, I kept hearing, so I kept noticing a tendency to keel over and fall asleep. And so naturally, I was sitting up meditating at the time, and so naturally I had an interest to, to know what it was that was causing this. So every time I would start to, to fall forward and, and fall asleep, I would perk up again and I'd try and roll back time and find the phrase that that sato voce phrase that had apparently deep deep in my subconscious mind issued from this this person and go, and gone into my own subconscious in such a way that I never even questioned it I just did it you know that's the characteristic of a spell it'll be so deeply hidden in the subconscious or unconscious mind that we don't even question it we simply do it okay that's at least that's my understanding of it I am an apprentice at learning this kind of thing I don't want to learn about spells I want to learn about dissolving them <laughs> so so anyway about the tenth time this happened I was getting more and more furious I was determined determined to find what this spell was and about the umpteenth time this I started to kill forward from my meditation position I heard it I really heard it now those of you that have tried this quest before the quest for the magic spell that does something to them over and over again that they don't want it to do right will realize what a great victory this is I was triumphant <laughs> <laughs> and it was such a simple spell. <laughs> so anyway, I'm a newbie. <laughs> so it went like this. The person said my name. They knew I was listening. They didn't want me to listen to the conversation or else they were also had intention in the intention to say it to that person they were with. They said so and so and they said the name bow down to me. <laughs> <laughs> over and over again. It was coming from their third chakra, their center of will, and uh, their navel point energy, and it went directly to my navel point energy, or uh, maybe third eye point. I'm not, I've got to look into that. Um, and and I am, and in my mind immediately turned off and and went into sleepy sleep state. Now from this, I have quite a few things to gather. The thing of it is, this, this spell was not programmed in this lifetime. It was programmed over many, many lifetimes. And it has to do with male dominance and patriarchal domination. And those things they did not come from humankind. It was a long time on earth when both men and women had great authority and great power and, and great transformative value for human, humankind and were, were equally respected. Then something happened, okay? And that thing that happened was patriarchal domination concomitant with misogyny. Misogyny is hatred of women. So, and so, it's not just women though. I think that's an oversight to look at it. It's a, a mistake to think of it as only women. Rather, it's the position of an authority figure, not just a spiritual teacher, but military authority, governmental authority, any kind of group head authority, anything like that. Religious authority. There are a million kinds of authority in the world today, tell, telling us exactly what we ought to do and presupposing that we won't listen to our own open hearts, but rather we will listen to somebody else, you know, that kind of authority. So uh, that kind of authority affects just about everybody but the guy on top, both men and women. And it was affecting the man, the student, the uh, 
disciple who was with a spiritual teacher uh, and as well as me and I noticed that I've noticed over the course of this Lions Gateway that is occurring in the last few days and for the next few days today being the day of the Lions Gateway that all these black magic things are coming up and quite a few have resolved last night it was incredible quite a few resolved and came to consciousness and were transformed with love not just by me but by many other people um, now this thing about patriarchal domination what it really means is that usually it's a man that's in the position of authority I heard over lunch yesterday that there's a possibility that Hillary Clinton might become president. Uh, the people at the table were saying they didn't seem very likely to them. And my response was, how unusual in the history of the United States that we should have a president of color for the last few uh, terms and that now uh, for the next term, people should even consider a woman to be as a possible president. It's an, it, these are amazing times, really amazing times of change, of breaking away from the notion that of white male supremacy, for instance, um, at least in America, you know, that's been the stereotype. So I'd like to talk about all this um, just for a moment in regard to the quite a few greater than third dimensional beings, but who are in a fourth and fifth say dimension negative and um, who are service to self as they say in the law of one um, and these these uh, social memory complexes are arranged in a manner similar to what we see in the authority authority groups on earth today which is to, and with one slight difference they're all, they seem to be all male. Okay, and so it's sort of a dog-eat-dog, dog, uh, one guy on top of the whole thing uh, structure where everybody kowtows to this one guy on top. Uh, I especially remember in the Law of One, they, were, they talked time, several times about fourth uh, dimension or astral plane negative beings I guess I'd call them demons in the Christian um, in the Christian terminology and that there's one guy in fifth dimension negative who serves to self who is the guy that tells everybody what to do okay so uh, so this structuring of, of, of social groups in the world uh, that manifest in our hologram today. This is something to just look at and, and visualize in a different way, in a way that would be happier and more fulfilling for all humankind. And then we can visualize this and co-create this, even if it doesn't jive with what anybody else says. Take my word for this, it's going to make a difference if you visualize something more positive and more fruitful for, for humankind. So I forgot to add something to this video, and I know why I forgot it, which is kind of funny. Uh, there are these things called uh, mind slides that are like embedded in our consciousness, and they cause us to do things that we don't want to do. Uh, and one example of a mind slide that I had the other day was I went to add a phrase uh, to my activations of light. At the end of them, I, I added a phrase uh, I am in service to others, right? And every time I went to add one to one of my gazillion activations of light on the internet, um, I would hear a voice in my mind which would say, make it service to self, make it service to self. Now this is the opposite. And so each time I would do my best to counter this voice and be very careful that I typed in, um, I am in service to others. So today I was going back checking all of them to make sure I did it right. And what do you know? In on one blog I had typed on, typed in I am in service to self twice. 
that's that's a mind slide and that's mind mud and that mind mud is why I forgot to add something very important to this video <laughs> so if the person that I'm talking about reads this thing I hope they won't take it too seriously because we're all in the process of learning and clearing our soul wounding right now and it's I'm not intending to hurt anybody by this I'm just pointing out an example that applies across the board to groups all over the world right now okay so please don't take it personally um, it goes like this let's see um, a year or two ago I went to a meditation in which the the person that was in charge of the meditation now I don't do group meditations anymore I just meditate on my own but so there was some pretty heavy stuff coming down by way of artillery fire from the implants and all kinds of things over the course of the last 20 years okay and and since the shift uh, there are those groups that that know that their tenure on earth is is very limited uh, you know is practically done with or had for many of them has ended and um, they call that a pickup when uh, the higher ups the archangelics and like that pick up um, uh, an Orion Crusader or a, um, you know people from the demon demonic realm or like that pick them up and and um, swoop them out of this time and time space continuum and and um, relocate them or else if it's in case of hybrids and like that they have the choice to be um, completely regenerated their soul feels pristine new and placed back on earth and so forth it, hybrids are not in the same class they're more like humans who have been implanted with a lot of stuff that can be cleared away just like that from the soul field with light and sound and like that completely regenerated but anyway so there are those beings completely dedicated to service to self who have been hanging out in the fourth dimension and higher on earth and who are in the process of being poof <laughs> relocated and deployed elsewhere <laughs> wherever suits their soul purpose most I, well they don't all have souls but that's a whole other story <laughs> so where was I okay so a year or so ago I was at this meditation it was a group meditation and the person in charge had got it in his mind that he was going to mind control everybody in the group and so and that this in some way was going to help their spiritual upliftment you know and I was present at that time when in fact he did mind control everybody in the group um, my mind still, but still, there was some like neutral part of me because I'm of Hathor lineage, among other, and I was trained by the Elohim, and so there's some part of me from the stars that, even though my mind may be tampered with or dwell or or shut down, uh, or you know whatever happens, controlled what they say here on Earth. Whatever happens to my mind, there is some portion of my soul that is waiting and watching and knows what is happening. Okay, so so this happened, and and it has happened since then several several times. So my question is, why did this happen to this person? Why did he get the notion to do that? Because this is a free will planet, surely. This is a free will planet. Why would a spiritual teacher do such a thing? So, as spiritual teachers, we need to be especially sensitive to the to the um, the imprint of free will on this planet. This is the this is the law of this planet, and there's no there's no such thing as making an ideal world here without free will. So, no mind control, no hypnosis, no um, grabbing of the personality, but the freedom, allowing the freedom for each person to find the keys to their own transformation, 
for now is the time. Now is the time. And a leader, a leader of, 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 of the Spirit can, can best, I feel, can, can best help his students by doing this himself and letting them know what he is doing. You know what I mean? So, y'all take care. Steer clear of that mind mud. It's quite mind boggling. <laughs>